Hi guys, lots gone here today, and we are going to start a new scenario on Zoo Tycoon in this second part. We are going to go for uh, something with um, 12 months to complete. So I, th I think we're actually going to go for um, dinosaur digs on this one. So quickly we're just going to look over at messages and see in fact no not messages our scenario information and just see what we have to do for this scenario so millennia ago a permafrost that covered the world decimated many forms of life on earth because of your past successes in managing zoos you have been given a large plot of land in greenland recent advantages in the field of genetics have enabled your research scientists to begin cloning exact animals so it looks like we're going to be uh, specialising in sort of ice age dinosaurs and um, extinct animals. So yeah, here we go. Uh, you'll need four ice age animals, woolly mammoth, woolly rhinoceros, saber toothed cat and a giant tortoise. It is very important to spend money on the genetic research conservation category in order to gain the ability to adopt woolly mammoths. Okay, so this looks like it could be harder than the last one. So we need to adopt a giant tortoise, saber tooth cat, woolly rhino, woolly mammoth, uh, an exhibit suitability rating of at least 80 for four Ice Age exhibits, and achieve an average rating animal happiness of 85, as well as, as, well as achieving a zoo rating of 70. Okay, so let's look around the map here. We have, uh, we zoom out, we've got not that much space actually. Um, we have this sort of water, sort of small river running through the middle. So we may have to uh, build around that and in maybe put it into some of the exhibits for the animals. Uh, the animals we currently have at the moment in uh, dinosaur digs is what we want to be looking for. We have a giant ground sloth, which is massive. Um, a macro kidney, I can't say that. Looks a bit like an anteater. Um, but we don't actually have, oh we do, we have a Woolly rhinoceros, a giant tortoise, a Loch Ness monster, <laughs> and a saber tooth tiger. So, this giant tortoise actually has to hatch from an egg, I think. And they're also quite expensive, but we, we do have a lot of money for this task. We have 150,000 for this. So, um, we're going to go for saber tooth tigers to start with. They live in small to medium sized families called prides and hunt using their teeth. Okay, so this is going to be much like the lion exhibit we built in the last scenario. So, um, extremely strong, large or strong animals such as dinosaurs. So we will use this bar here. We're going to take it to here. We're going to give them a little bit of a uh, mountain area in this. I mean, we might as well make this exhibit as big as it can be. And we're going to call that the um, call it Big Fangs for now. And that path is inside the exhibit, so that's not the best start we could have made there. Um, oh, right. 
this was there we go okay the, the camera's a bit weird to get used to being uh, isometric it's it's quite hard going from sort of a 3d game to going back to isometric and not being able to move the camera around as much as you can um it's quite hard to judge the positioning of certain things but that seems to be okay um they like snow they like arctic bushes arctic bush so I have one Okay, so let's start the game up again. We'll have a male and a female. They are very big actually compared to a lion. If we get a lion for comparison, yes, they're massive compared to a lion. Okay. Um, we are gonna have Bill. And Bill and Shirley, the saber-toothed tigers. So I need to just check on a scientist's recommendations. Uh, more animals of the same type would make Shirley happier. Not enough grey stone terrain in the exhibit for Shirley, and too much snow for Shirley. So, firstly, we want a grey stone. There we go, so we'll put a bit there, bit there, bit there, bit there, bit there. Still not enough grey stone for Shirley. More grey stone for Shirley. Again, more. I have a weird feeling they don't like snow. Too much greystone for Shirley. Too much snow for Shirley. Too much greystone for Shirley still. Not enough fresh water, so if we chuck some fresh water down over there. Not enough shelters. More cliffs or hills. Okay, this is going to be a bit harder than last time. Uh, not enough brownstone terrain in the exhibit. Where's brownstone? Okay, so... so more rocks for Shirley. A bit more greystone to take out some of the snow. Okay, so we need some arctic rocks. Oh, we're just gonna go small rocks. A big one there. Uh, let's rotate this around a little bit. That was a weird cell. Um, let's go that there, that there. We're then going to see if we can uh, adjust some of the terrain. We're getting guests into the park now. Uh, we're going to lift this up just a tiny bit. Uh, this is the one we wanted. Sorry about that. Uh, So they like that, but it's messed up our path over here just a little bit. So we're going to sort of uh, just increase this a little bit. Just lower some of this here. Uh more animals and more shelters now. So let's fix up this path that we um, ruined. Get rid of this tree. 
That doesn't need to be there. Um, we are going to get some more animals in there. Then we'll chuck a another female in there. And we are going to call her... Um, oh. We're going to have Bill, Shirley and Bob. Bill, Shirley, and Bob. We're gonna need some shelters as well in here, so... Ice Age Cave is what we want. We wanna put that, uh... Right. That sound gets really annoying the more you hear it. Uh... So I want to just lower this area here and chuck the cave in right there. And finally, the exhibit is well suited for Bob, Bill and Shirley. So, we need to look at uh, research and conservation of... Um, Getting that woolly mammoth, we need a, uh... Did tell me somewhere, didn't it? Yeah. Spend money on the genetic research conservation category. So, genetic research conservation. So if we take all of that off and focus on, there we go, genetic research for woolly mammoths. Shirley can't find any food. I mean, if we hired a zookeeper, that would be helpful. Uh, scientist, I think, is what we want, is it? Yep. So we get, we get two of them. Um, we're also going to chuck one of these... Uh, Dinosaur recovery stations in. If we just get rid of that. We're going to just put that at the entrance in case anyone does escape. So we can actually get out and save them. And we have actually had a uh, baby in the Cybertooth cage. So... A male. This is going to be uh, Sam. Sam the kid. And straight away we are going to... In fact, no, we're not going to do that. We need to look at building some... Uh, uh. We'll put a bouncy ride there. Oh, we have the... Um, Genetic research available for the woolly mammoth now. So we should also improve this and uh, just look at sort of the uh, overall well being. That was the wrong word. The overall being uh, care of the dinosaurs. Um. So back to what we we're actually doing. We were going to get in some. What the hell was that? Okay, that noise is really annoying me. So I'm just going to. You can go and sort of yeah play in the water or something. I don't really want to hear that noise all the time. Um, st <laughs> benches. Some of these around here, so we will go for a few just in behind, a few here. 
Uh, Plesiosaurus is now available as well. Uh, a Triceratops Skeleton. Steam Vent. Don't actually need any of this stuff, do we? A Woolly Mammoth Fountain. I'm going to get that at the entrance, actually. I like that. Uh, oh, the noise it's making is horrendous. I'm going to put up with that because it looks nice, though. Uh, Woolly Mammoth Cones Stand. So, let's get that just here. We also need a, uh, go for a kid's snack stand just here. Dinosaur gift shop, gift stand, burgers. I'm gonna put a tree swing up on this hill. And we're also gonna get, um, so apparently we can't get any drinks there. So we need a restroom somewhere. And we've also unlocked an Ankylosaurus, I think is how you say it. So we'll get a restroom there. We will get a restroom around the back here. As well as a drinks machine just over here. And we're going to get a drink stand right here next to the restroom. Okay, so... What is making that noise this time? The um, sound on this game isn't fantastic, I will say that. I never actually played the um, dinosaur expansion when I had this game when I was younger. I had the marine expansion and the original only. So, I've not experienced the noises in this game before, but... I mean, the balancing of the sound is um, horrific, to be honest. I mean, it's nice when it's quiet. So, I don't know what we're going to put in here. We, we'll we go for the turtles in here, I think. So, we're going to go for a... Uh, um, the giant... The giant tortoises. I think they are. May have just got that wrong. Uh, it is a giant tortoise, so yeah, that's correct. Um, Arctic grass. And I'm going to turn off this research because we aren't going to be buying any more animals after that. We need to sort of, it's March now, we've only got one exhibit, we need to get on with it, really. Um, so, we'll have one of those, and uh, one of those, a male and female. This is going to be um, Jeff. That's the girl. Um, uh, ooh. Go for Polly and Jeff. Uh, an egg requires the care of a scientist. Okay, well this is harder than originally thought. Um, where is the path tool? We need to get a path going all the way down here. Uh, around. And once again, back up and connect into there. These are also taking a very long time, so... Huh. <laughs> Look at that Polly egg. <laughs> Look at that Jeff egg. 
Oh. Old games really didn't take in that much design, did they? Uh, so we'll, we'll start. I mean, they're not going to hatch anytime soon, I assume. So we need to start getting in with the Arctic grass. Um, we'll just go for a sort of mixture of stuff. I assume they like fresh water. In fact, I'm going to delete some of these. Uh, maybe they like salt water. So we'll leave them like a nice swimming area there. And we'll get rid of all this bloody uh, grass in the middle. Oh, you can click and drag. I never knew that. And the egg is hatching. So there's our first giant toys. They make a very weird sound. And Jeff is hatched as well. So too much snow, not enough fresh water. Crap. We, um, oh... Okay, so we'll just go fully fresh water here. Forget the salt water. Still too much snow, not enough fresh water, and not enough greystone. So if we get some greystone in and put the greystone all around here. Not enough fresh water, too much snow. Wow, you're picky. I mean, yeah, okay. Large amount of foliage will make Polly unhappy. I just did what? Okay, um, more rocks and too much salt water. Now I'm not gonna be able to find that salt water. There's the salt water. Salt water. Still too much salt water. No idea where the salt water is because we uh, jumped the gun on that one and put in fresh water. We'll just go for... Um... There's not salt water anywhere. I'm going to have to go one by one on this. Okay. Um. Congratulations, you have been given the Silver Plaque Award, Excellence in Exhibit Design for displaying at least one animal in a highly suitable exhibit. Nice. I am quite proud of this exhibit over here. We um, probably put a bit too much time into it considering it is March. And Polly would like some more rocks. Here you go, I have a large one there, uh, another large one there, some medium, too many rocks, too little rocks, it's well suited, crap, um, so I'm guessing they don't sleep in an exhibit in a shelter uh i mean i'm just gonna guess they don't sleep in a shelter i have no idea if they do or not but 
I'm not really willing to put one down there and upset them at this point. So, we are going to put some more benches just around the side here of this exhibit. We're going to go for... Loads of benches there. In fact, we haven't got any bins in here yet. That is bad. Oh no. Um, okay. Firstly. Sort out this rubbish problem. Because we didn't put any bins down. We didn't hire any uh, maintenance or handymen or whatever they're called in this game. And we are not. Oh, that placement's going to annoy me. Okay, so we've got the bins down. We're rushing to get to sort of uh, April eleventh. We should be okay. Uh, we'll put a drink. Drinks machine, the restroom there. Took an ice cream down there. Gonna go for a dino burger over there. Uh, that was loud. Uh, we are gonna go for a. Uh, hot dogs. Can't beat some hot dogs. Although a fancy hot dog stand would have been better. So we'll chuck that over here. Right, so if we check up on the scenario now, we have... Uh, a permafrost covered the decimated. So we've done all of that. We have adopted a uh, one giant tortoise, one saber tooth tiger or cat, as it's called in this game. A woolly rhino is still on the cards. A woolly mammoth is still on the cards. Uh, exhibit suitability rating of eighty for at least four exhibits. Average animal happiness rating of eighty-five. We have. And a zoo rating of 70. So. We've done well so far. We have two big exhibits going on here. We are going to. Um, build out this path actually. To go. Across the water. To. Here. Because we still need to get in the uh, rhino and mammoth. And I assume they will need a bigger exhibit than the saber toothed tigers. So if we. Yeah, so we're going to uh, just do a little bit of planning here. So if we do that and take the path round here. We can link this up like that. We can pull this bit of ground up here. Uh, pull this bit of ground up here. And again, here, lower that back down. Just made a mess of that. Uh, so come back up. You go down. Let's get this path in. So. Uh, 
Okay, that needs to come down. Uh, that needs to come down. That's going to annoy me if that stays like that. There we go. So I think, yeah, we're going to give this to the rhinos, this exhibit here. Um, possibly going to need to move that tree swing, actually. And we are going to then give this exhibit here to the woolly mammoths. Because I think the size of them, uh, if we have a look on the size of them. So they're not too big. At oh, actually, compared to a um, saber tooth, they are quite big. And compared to the turtles, they are quite big as well. Woolly rhinoceros is about the same as the uh, saber tooth cats. But they will probably need more to road around in. Uh, woolly mammoths are also medium sized herds. And small family groups for the giant tortoises as well. Hmm. Okay, so we've. Uh, We've sort of planned that out, and it's the 8th of May now, so we have enough time and for next time to actually uh, fix this up. That, whatever's making that noise, I think it's this kid's snack. Um, Yeah, I don't know if you could hear that in the background, but there's sort of, oh, it's, there it is. It's that jukebox sound. It's, it's really sort of, it gets on your nerves when you can hear it full blast in your ears. Oh my, it's repeating itself. No idea what it is. Where would that be coming from? Unless it's the ice cream stand, which we will keep there. I thought they were just eating them then, they were making that much noise. Uh, uh, I also thought that was a turtle for a second. Where are the turtles actually? So we've still got uh, Jeff and Polly there. And we're starting to make a little bit of money now as well. So, we're going to up this to 35. So, hopefully, next time we can make a bit more money. But I am going to leave it there today, guys. I was going to pause it then, but I'll just keep it going. Yeah, I am going to leave it there today, guys. This has been Zoo Tycoon uh, Dinosaur Digs. Uh, using the Ice Age animals in the expansion pack from the original Zoo Tycoon. I have been Lotscon, and this has been Zoo Tycoon, and until next time, thank you for watching. <laughs>